lovelies, welcome back, it's your girl Katie here and today's video is going to be a little makeup haul video. I did some shopping recently and I just wanted to show you guys what all I recently picked up. So I'm just going to show you guys what all I got, tell you guys prices and all that good stuff. So to no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so the two places that I ordered stuff from is from BoxyCharm. I did an order in their recent drop shop and then I also placed an order from Mori Cosmetics. I think that's how you say their name. I recently came across them from TikTok. I was scrolling through and saw a video of someone showing off some of their products and I was interested in them. I'd never heard of them. So I was like, hey, why not try out a brand that I've never heard of? So I think I'm gonna start off with the drop shop, drop shop stuff. It's like a tongue twister. Anyways, the BoxyCharm order that I placed. I really only bought stuff from their drop shop recently because I got an email say, stating that I was going to be getting a duplicate item in one of my boxes and I did end up getting a duplicate item and they were just giving me some credit to spend um, in their drop shop, which I it was like $12. So I was like, $12, I can pick up a couple of items or so and use that. So anyways, I'm gonna start with that first. I'm going to look at my phone to tell me what all I got the items for. Um, so yeah, I only picked up about three items from the drop shop. So first thing I picked up is from Visa Art and I got this bronzer is from Visa Art. And I got this for around $7. I'd seen this in their drop shop a couple of times and I'd been kind of curious about it. Um, it did look like a nice, you know, little bronzer, but it's pretty small, not like super tiny, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a dainty little size, but here's the packaging if you guys just, you know, look and you pull it and then here's the actual bronzer what shade did i get it in i think i got it in the lightest one it doesn't say on the back what the shade name is but if i remember correctly there wasn't like a ton of shade options so i just picked the lightest one hoping that it'll work for me anyway so i paid seven dollars for that or that was the price on boxy pop-up then i picked up a little palette here from Ciate London, this is, what are you called? This is one of their nine piece eyeshadow palettes. I think it was called like the editor or something. Um, it's called Trend Edit Palette, I think. Anyways, this was on there for $7, which I thought was a pretty decent price. Outer packaging. And then here is what the inside looks like. It reminds, it reminds me a lot of like those little Huda Beauty palettes, but these are very neutral little palettes. But I just, I don't know. I love neutral palettes. You know me. But I just thought this one was really cute, you know. Definitely one I could see myself using every day. And I do like Ciate London, so I picked up that. And then I picked up an, one last palette, and this is from La Rocked, and this is the Unfiltered palette. And they had this on there for $9. So my total was $23, but then I had like that $12 uh, credit that got taken off. So I only paid about $13.98, that's with tax and everything, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Anyways, let me get this one out. Do you have one of the other Lorac palettes? I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's different than this one. Anyways, this is just a five pan palette. Again, I'm very neutral. You know me. I love my neutral palettes and my camera, my lights are very blinding. So let me pull it back. Doesn't help the packaging is really reflective. But anyway, it's just another neutral palette. I love neutrals and I like trying out palettes that I haven't ever tried before. And I, like I said, I only have one other palette from The Rock, so yeah, I thought this was a decent price. So that's everything from the BoxyCharm Drop Shop. And then moving on to my order from Moria Cosmetics. Like I said, I'd never heard of this brand. Maybe this brand, I'm sure it's been a while around for a bit, but I just had never seen people talking about this brand. So curious about them, went in and picked up some of their stuff. Um, I got about, let's see, one, two, three, four. I picked up about five products up from them. Um, 
I would say like price range. They're kind of like, they're more affordable, but they're not like super cheap, but they're not like high end prices, like super expensive. They're like in that medium between drugstore and high end. That's kind of like where the price range is. And the reason why I saw them, you know, like I said, I saw them on TikTok and um, people were talking about their liquid eyeshadows, which I don't know. I wanted to test them out. So I picked up three of their liquid eyeshadows. That's yeah. Um, just because I just wanted to try them out because they looked really cool on TikTok. And I was like, hey, you know, I never heard of this brand. This product looks interesting. Why not try them out? So I picked up three and I picked up one in the shade Stardust. The other one's name is Eye Contact and then Goodness is the three that I picked up. And these cost about $8.50 each, which is a little bit, you know, pricey, I guess, for kind of for liquid eyeshadow, but not super pricey because I'm pretty sure like Stila and stuff, theirs are probably a bit more. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, I'm going to swap, do swatches of them. So this is the shade Stardust. I'm going to give you guys a close-up look of it, and then I will swatch it. And I do plan on doing a review. Like, I'm going to do a try-on of some of these products. I just don't know when. I wanted to do this haul video first. But... So this one here is Stardust. It's kind of like this silvery kind of uh, shimmer here, or eyeshadow, I guess. Just going to do a swatch of it. And there's the swatch of it. So it's this very nice silver shade. Next up is this kind of goldish one, and this one's in the shade Eye Contact. And I think this is the one I saw on TikTok, maybe, I think. Um, anyway, so I'll just do a swatch of it. This one is definitely like more pigmented than the other one is. Like I'm not having to build it up as much. It's, it's pretty pigmented. Um, I feel like the other one was kind of like a thinner, like, um, I don't know, I don't know if it's supposed to be more lighter or whatever, but anyways, this one's definitely got some pigment there. Yeah, that one's definitely really pretty. That's my favorite so far. Like, the top one's nice, but that one's just kind of like, bam. It didn't have to build up much. And then the last liquid eyeshadow I got is another kind of like goldenish. It's a bit lighter than the other one, and this was in the shade Goodness. I feel like the glitter in this one is a lot smaller, maybe? I don't know. I could be crazy. It's fine. I would say this one's definitely, I don't know, now that I'm swatching it, it's kind of got more of that peach tone to it. And it's the formula feels a little bit thinner, kind of like that first one. But then again, I wonder if like if I were to try to build it up, like let it dry and then apply another layer, if it would work better. Because right now when I'm trying to pack it on, it's just kind of like spreading around because it's all wet and liquidy. There we go. Yeah, they're super shiny and reflective, so I'm excited to try these out. And like I said, I do plan on doing a review on these products. Um, I just wanted to show you guys them first and then I'll do the review some other time. On these products and I'll try out these liquid shadows and then I picked two more products up from them so I picked up one of their blushes and this is another one that I guess is popular on TikTok um, these ombre blushes and these retail for about 950 each and they had several shades there were several there was a couple that were out of stock so I'm assuming those are like the really popular ones from TikTok um, but I did pick up one and the one that I picked up is in the shade mellow pink but I will say from seeing those TikToks, these blushes are, yeah, this is super, super pretty. So here it is, but the print on it is really pretty and it's like, it's ombre. Anyways, isn't that gorgeous? I almost don't want to use it. I mean, I will, but like the print on there is just super pretty. And just the ombre effect is like, Really cool. I'm curious to see how this is going to look on the face. But yeah, they had several shades of these. Um, but the, I just, just decided to get one. I may pick up others later, depending on how I like them. And then the last thing I picked up was an actual like highlighter, because I was just curious to see, you know, try a little bit here and there, different categories. Um, and this retailed for $14. But this thing is huge. 
So this is the most expensive item I picked up. I'm not saying on their website, just saying from what I have picked up. This is the pricier one. And it smells like coconut, and it says on here, on the packaging, I think I said something about coconut. It says it's with natural oil, so coconut and sweet almonds. So I'm assuming it's made with natural oils. But anyways, here's like a little swatch of it. My hand is all glittery now from that. Uh... Oh, I didn't even swatch the blush. What am I doing? I will swatch, swatch the blush as well. But anyways, here's a swatch of the highlighter. I just totally forgot to swatch the blush. But anyways, here's the highlighter. Seems pretty, seems pretty blinding. I will say I was a little concerned just from kind of looking at it. I think it does kind of have some of those bigger pieces of glitter, but it still looks really reflective. So I'll see how it applies when I try it on sometime. Anyways, let me do a swatch of the blush. Ooh, that blush. Ugh. Oh. I messed up the rose, but the blush feels like really creamy, and so did the highlighter. Feels like really creamy, but like not, not too creamy, like wet, just you know, very soft. And there's the blush swatch. Anyway, so I'm pretty excited to try all these out. Like I said, I do plan on doing a review on these. I will just do that at a later time, maybe the next video or the one after. I'm not sure when I'll get this review up um but like i said i'd never heard of this brand um so i was curious to try them out you know pick up some stuff especially because it's not like i said super pricey their prices are more on the fairer side like i said i wouldn't say it's like drugstore um prices maybe just a smidge more expensive than that but it's not like you know prices like Too faced or whatever um or you know smashbox and all them but yeah, there you go, guys. That is my recent haul, um, my makeup haul. I've honestly been not buying as much makeup as I used to. Um, I used to go to TJ Maxx and stuff all the time and buy, you know, makeup from there. And sometimes I'd go to Ulta and stuff. But recently, and and sometimes I do ColourPop, which I still do those things every now and then. But I just know that I've not been buying as much as I had been in the past. And that's honestly because right now I'm pretty... Right now, I'm pretty happy with what I have, and I want to use up. I mean, I'm not. I know I'm not going to use up everything in my collection for a while, but I'm trying to focus more on what I have and not trying to just accumulate lots of makeup. Um, I still get my boxes and stuff, so I guess you could be like, "Well, you're buying stuff there," and yeah, that may be another reason why is because I get boxes every month and I have makeup in it, so I just don't. I don't feel the need to go out and just buy makeup. Um, but like I said, I did see come across this brand, and I did have that credit on the Boxy Charm website. So I, I was like, you know what? I haven't bought enough. I haven't bought makeup in a while. It's it's fine. But yeah, that is going to it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up because that really does help on my channel. And also, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of my recent buys. Did you guys have you guys tried any of these products? And if you did, what did you think of them? Let me know down below because I love chatting with you guys down there. But other than that, hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!